You tell me one athlete right now that's been dominating the game for 16 years straight without a loss. Tell me one. Billy, you're looking in great shape. How's the training been going? It's been going very well. Um, my bad, I'm Jim. Can't wish for it to go any better. Training's been done. Weights where it need to be. Tapering down now. All the hard work's been done. Maintaining a little bit. And uh, fight Saturday night. You know, sitting there at the stage there, there's a phrase like quiet confidence. You actually had like fun confidence. You've got that look in your eye. You're smiling. You're happy. How do you feel this fight's going to play out? Well, look. Like I said, if I want to go in there with intense and I want to be uptight and I want to go in there and take someone's head off, any boxing man tell you you can't go in the you can't go in the ring with that. You know, you got to go in there. You got to go in there confident. You got to go in there cool and calm. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in there. And people keep, people might say, oh, I, don't, I hope people don't look at me and think he's being arrogant, he's being cocky, he's being too overconfident. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I just believe what I'm going to do, and I'm going to go and carry it out, and I'm going to show people the best of me. I mean, not. Not the night before getting half a stone off, losing, taking in the ring 40% of me and dying out in six, seven rounds. That's not going to happen this time. Yeah. Definitely not. You're talking about losing weight early and being at your optimum best. Is this 100% Billy Joe Saturday night? Listen, there's no excuses. There's no excuses at all for me. I'm, I'm everything. I'm ready. I'm, I'm, I'm everything's there. Everything's spot on. Mm. I will be smack bang on the money on Saturday night. When you see Chris sitting there right now, it's quiet, saying this, saying that, and you're, you're thinking, you're thinking, this guy ain't fought no one, as you said. Do you see it as a, <coughs> not a disrespect, but something where it's like, no, this is my stage and this is not for him to be here? That, that's what I'm, that, and that is what I'm, that was the answer, and that's the thing I'm looking for. It is my stage. That's what I said, he would do what I want to do when, he, when I want him to do it. I'm not getting overconfident with him, and I'm not saying he's not going to hit me. I'm not going to say that because boxing you got you walk in the rain you're going to get wet but he don't he's not on my level he's not on my level and i will show that on saturday night he don't know it yet because his dad's been drumming stuff in his ear like olympics don't count rounds don't count you don't even have to have a trainer now well, floyd may the best he has a trainer golovkin has a trainer but he don't need one so you know so that, that's all i'm putting is that yeah, it's my stage, and he will do what I want him to do when I want him to do it. You mentioned previously when we spoke about um, you will be number one for Cobra, who got number one for the WBO and fighting Cobra, and this is, like you said, not a step back, but it's not where you really want to be. After this fight, this, is it guaranteed now that you are going to get your shot? I'll get the fight to winner of Andy Lee and Matt Carver, but what I don't want is that I could have, listen, if I wanted to, I could have said, Frank, listen, get me a Brazilian in, get me an Argentine, and then I'll look good beating him, stop him in six, seven rounds. But I know what my ability, people say it's a big risk, but I know my ability, I can box. I'm a very good boxer, I can fight. I know that he is not, he might trouble me, but I know he's not going to beat me. And I want to show the public, they all want to pay for it. They all want to pay and earn, they're going to earn a few quid, the same as I've got to go and work. You know, so, I want to give it to him. You say he could possibly trouble you and give you little problems on the line. When you look at him as an athlete, as a fighter, do you see anything that... In terms of speed, his power, his technique, well, balance, listen, his footwork, do you see anything that is outstanding? Well, listen, somebody had to fight, someone had to fight Golovkin to, to let him know who he is. Someone had to fight um, Kulev, uh, who beat Kulev, to let him know who he is. I'm the man to fight him. Let's see if he's as good as that, because he said he can beat Golovkin now. So, let's see Saturday night if he's as good as that. Mm. Bill, um, you're in tremendous shape. Um, best shape you've said you've ever been in. Jimmy said exactly the same thing as well. As this fight bring that out on you, as you bang at least done that to you, bring it out so you have trained hard, you've been in my band for six weeks. He, he's given me he's given me that energy to put inside myself to think, right, gotta get away. I can't have these distractions anymore. Snooker, dog track, casino, I can't have that. Get away, do your work, get the job done properly, forget about everything else. There's been nothing, nothing what's been on my mind apart from him training. Nothing. I don't want to lose this fight. I don't want to lose any fight, especially not today. Yeah. You know? Yeah, they say there's confidence and there's overconfidence. Um, he says he's one in a million. Uh, is he just overconfident, is it? Listen, we're, we're always saying, listen, I thought I was going to go to the Olympic Games and I thought I was going to stroll for him. Young, arrogant, young 18 year old, fresh, yeah. felt strong, feeling good. A mountain want to stop me. Then you meet experience. When you meet experience, there's nothing you can do. Is there, a, in a strange way, a common respect for you guys? I mean, that you both have for each other. Obviously, you both boxers, so you know that. I tell you what, listen, I'll tell you what I do. He don't, listen, he perhaps he might not give me no respect. Or I don't give him no respect as a person, but I give him respect as a person. Because I don't care who you are. When you're in that dressing room, I don't care how cold your eyes, how tough you look. When you get there and you've got to walk out there, you're nervous and it takes a lot of bottle and guts to get in the ring. Yeah. It takes a lot of it. Sometimes I'll say, what am I doing? 
I'll do another job. What am I doing this for? You know, it's, it takes a lot to do that. And, you know, I respect him for that. I do respect him. I give him a bit of respect for that. We had 20 grand bets, 100 grand bets. Um, it's just to psych you both up. Is it, is it serious? No, no, really listen. Or? I, I'm just saying the confidence. He was saying that he was going to do this and he was going to do that. So I said, if you're that confident, for charity, not for me, yeah. not, not, not for me to win to put it on, if he wants, for charity, we'll have 100 grand bet. The, win, the loser has to pay 100 grand to their choice of charity if he wants. And the old press conference heard me say, to my lawyer, what was he, Robert Davis, he will contact these lawyers. And if he said that to me, I've said to my lawyer there and then, Robert, can you phone him now while the cameras are here and can you get it in Ryan, faxed over and get it done? Yeah. He didn't say that. For the fans, uh, Bill, break it down. What, what happens now between the fight? Obviously, at Monday, the fight's on Saturday. Do you kind of just, as you say, taper it down now? Now you've got your little public. Yeah, I, w- I, woke up, I woke up this morning, three pound overweight. Um, I haven't done nothing yet, so I'll go tonight, do a little bit of shatter, probably go to bed a pound. I don't want to be on the weight now. I want to yeah. be on the weight Friday. So that's all it is. is just maintain a little bit, a little bit of shatter. Just, just, just keep them busy. Mm. You know, this is busy for me to be honest. We're just sat in the room resting. Yeah. I have enough of resting. Yeah. Just want to get in there and just let it all, let it go now. How was it in MGM Mark there? A lot of people talk about that week <coughs> over there as being one of the best sort of training camps I've boxed to. all around the world. It's, it's the best scout I've ever been to. Yeah. The facilities there is a joke. The weather, you've got the beach runs, the mountains, everything you need there. It's very good. There you go. All right, that's Billy Joe at the press conference for Cussie Red Billy Joe. Thanks for the boxing. Thank you, boys. Good man. Cheers, man.